Hello, Facebook friends around the world. Hi, how are you? I am just getting ready to go to the airport. I'm in Tokyo right now, and I was just looking at the last five days of my life, and um, just so grateful. Um, just grateful for the people that are in my life, the people that I don't know but get to meet along the way to these adventures in different cities and countries. And I'm gonna try to put words to it, but it's so much bigger than words. And I was just looking at the last three days. We had a uh, Right Voice For You class. And it was so much fun. Actually, you know, I love facilitating. So my classes tend to be fun anyway, but it's amazing like all the different things that occur in a class. And that's the gift of the access classes and the specialties is really like no two classes are the same, even if they have the same title, the same manual, because the people that come to the workshops or the seminars or the classes like, they bring their own something. They bring who they are, who they think they are, what they would like to add to their life, what they'd like to let go of. And that helps to create what the class ends up being. And although I might be the facilitator, it's all of us facilitating each other. And what's interesting is like most of it is like some people come because they're ready to let everything go. They're ready to lose it all. And then that might be a small group of people. <laughs> and then it's like, no, I'm coming because I know I'd like to have something different. I'd like to have something greater. I'd like to have something different in my life. And some are like, you know what? It's just not working. Like my finances aren't working or the way that my relationship is right now is not working. Or so whatever those topics are, they're coming for something. And the interesting part is that when we're all together, everything melts. Like everything you even think is wonderful and amazing, all those judgments go away because you can make it even greater. You can make it even more amazing. You can make it even, I mean, take it to a place where you think is your maximum and times that by a godzillion to really show you what's possible beyond this reality, beyond your A plus B equals C. And it's interesting because there's different moments, like day one, different things occur, day two, day three, and they're never the same. But there's those moments where it's almost like you've created so much change that there's something that wants to bring you back to the old you. And it's your willingness to actually be willing to let it all go. Be willing to lose it all so that you can have you and the freedom to choose anything you'd like to choose now. Not base your decisions on what happened yesterday or 10 minutes ago to whatever those reference points are, but really like now I get to choose something different and I get to choose it. And I love, I love the Japanese. I love coming to Tokyo. It's one of my favorite, favorite cities and countries. And it was really interesting for this particular creation. It started in January. <laughs> the conversations, it got scheduled in January. We're now in October. And along the way, it's had a lot of different changes. And to the degree that literally we were wondering, should we cancel the class? Because there's the energy in Japan was so different than ever before. And that's going to happen. But it was like no activity was happening. It was just very odd. And what I love about my creations is they're never based on one city, even though we might physically be located in a city. And it did. It grew. It changed. And it brought people from different cultures, different cities, different countries. Some of them were online via the Zoom, some of them were in the class. And together, what they were able to create was so beautiful. And I, I know this is the reason 
I'm on this planet. I'm here to create change. I'm here to be a catalyst of, by smiling, allowing possibilities to get created. And so for me, knowing one person had one question that might give them something different to explore, something else to be aware of, guess what? My job is a success. And that one person could be me. Because when we're part of these creations, nothing is about you giving to others. It's about this gift and you're receiving simultaneously. And the creations are always, always kicking my butt to step up more, to have greater awareness, to have more fun, to be me, to be me, not try to be like anybody else. No two facilitators ever gonna be the same because you know what, we're not the same. Topic can be the same and the outcomes will never be the same. And I was just like, wow, like how many of us have acknowledged the difference that we are? Like. Dr. Dane here has a whole program, books, audio, classes, facilitators all around the world. We facilitate being you. You, the real you, not the person, the masks you've put on to be able to fit into this reality. Mine used to be really good. I had a face for the being the mom, <laughs> being the wife, being the daughter, all being the executive, all these faces. Now, a lot of times my faces melted into each other, so I, I didn't really like the boxes. <laughs> but now, it's so different when I'm being me. And I know when I'm not being me. Like, I know, like, just the sensation in my body when I'm reacting to someone or even when I'm about to say something, I know I'm not being me. Now, doesn't mean I'm wrong. It just means that I now have the awareness and I get to choose. Hey, what do I desire right now? Okay, if I choose this, well, it will create. What future will it create? If I don't, what future will it create? And I've found so many ways that in the past, there's certain things I didn't want to do. There's certain things I didn't want to eat. There's certain places I didn't want to go because it wasn't me being me. I was taking on information other people had shared on what worked and didn't work for them. But when I actually apply it in my life, it works for me. And so I invite you guys, like, look at your own life, your business. What are you not willing to lose? Is there a certain person you're not willing to lose? Is there some service in your business or product you're not willing to lose? Is there an employee you're not willing to lose? Is there a friend you're not willing to lose? Because when we're willing to lose everything and have no point of view, we actually allow there to be growth. We allow there to be people choosing for themselves to what's going to work for them. You allow your creation, your business to expand because you're no longer controlling it. When I heard this tool, um, have no attachment to anyone or anything. When, that was about six years ago. And I thought the person who told me was crazy. She was my facilitator of a three-day body class. And I would listen to her story about her kids, and I was like, oh, my God, my kids, my twins, my little girls, like, I love them. I could never, ever not have attachment to them. But what I realized is I had this lie of what even attachment was, what motherhood was. What I have with my kids and have had since the day they were born has been very different relationship than most parents. I've honored and thought my kids were brilliant from the minute they were born, and I didn't treat them like kids. I treated them like people I can have conversation with and share information with. And what I realized is when I was willing to let go of all those attachments to my kids, to my husband, to my mom, to my family, to my friends, 
to even people that work with me, it made everything blossom greater. Now, some people may leave your life, but what if that actually creates greater for you and for them? Anything you're not willing to let go of, anything you're not willing to let go of those attachments and be willing to lose, you actually have to hold on to, to the degree you're choking them. You don't allow them to grow. You don't allow them to have their own awareness and you don't have your own awareness of what else is possible. You won't even know when someone's about to stab you in the back because you've already put them in this category that you'd never lose them if they're so amazing. I had that last year. It was really weird because <laughs> I never realized it. I thought it was just that I cared about someone so much that I wanted to include them in my life and my business and didn't really know all the things that they had going on behind the scenes because I wasn't willing to lose them. I wasn't willing to let go and have the awareness. That doesn't mean it's about someone stabbing you in the back, but it's your willingness to have information. With my kids, it's not about them stabbing me in my back, but it's about allowing them to choose what's gonna work for them. Mariah, what she chooses, doesn't mean it's gonna work for her twin sister who's identical to her. They're not identical. They just happen to both be born at the same time from one egg. <laughs> That's split in two. Every single one of us is different. And every single one of us has attachment to things that if we were willing to let them go, we would be able to have everything we're asking for. So I want to ask you guys, like, you know, you hear this question all the time, but like, if you were to explore your life right now, okay, and be grateful for everything, no money in the bank, be grateful for that. You have no job, be grateful for that. Don't go into wrongness, but be grateful for everything, and then ask, okay, what would I like to have as my life? What would I like my life to be like in five years? We say five because then you get out of your head, and you're really basing it on awareness and what your body desires, what your business desires, and look at that. What would you like your life to be like? What ease would you like to have in your life? You know, is it a house? Is it a car that you'd like to add? Is it a relationship? Someone nurturing? Someone that can make your life greater and their life greater and make the world greater together? I mean, what is that? Because until you even know the energy, not the words. How will you even know if you've ever accomplished it? And I was really looking at this. Um, I'm always asking questions and different creations kind of pop. And one popped to actually have a call. And it's called, what are you not willing to lose? And when we talked about it and we were playing with it, it was about relationships. Like how many people think, oh, you know, I'm in this relationship. And like my life wouldn't be the same if I lost this person. But what if the word loss is even like a lie? Would you ever lose someone? I mean, they're not a possession. They're not like a piece of property. So what would it be like if you didn't have the attachment but you cared about them, that you were willing to make your life greater and you were there to contribute to make their life greater and they contributed to your life getting greater? Like that's a different energy. Same thing with businesses. I talk to people all the time. I'm doing consulting sessions all the time that people have all this hold on their business. You are hijacking your business and not allowing it to grow. Who, who does that benefit? Oh, I adore you, Renee. So what if you didn't have to have any attachment to anything or anyone, but be grateful for everything? And everyone and it's interesting like I I know that I'm a healer <laughs> and that I've been healing a lot of people and that's okay but I really been talking about like like what if I didn't have to heal people what if they chose to heal themselves and I found a few people recently who are having lots of health issues because I chose, I'm not going to keep them alive if they don't want to live anymore. 
And that was one of the toughest things. And then I got some news yesterday about my mom, which was really interesting. And I'm just, I've just been really asking the last 24 hours, like, truly, am I willing to be an allowance of people's choices? Because that's something that I think I'm actually not good at, but that's an area that I usually allow people. Like, I'm, what do you want? Whatever you want, choose it. Like, I'm going to be an allowance of whatever you choose. I will ne never hold that against you. And in the last 24 hours, I really have had to be an allowance of, what does my mom and her body desire to choose? What does my friend desire to choose? What does my client desire to choose? Because it's been interesting in the last week, three people in my life. Oh, thank you so much, April. So grateful. And I realize I actually am an allowance, and I am an allowance in my mom, and I adore her, and I have a lot of tools I can use and we can change anything and everything, but she has to desire that. Same for my friend and my client. I'm here. I'm here to show them there's another possibility available, but I also have to be able to allow them to make their own choices. So are you willing to do that? Are you willing to, whatever it is, that thing or the person, that maybe you're not willing to lose. And you don't have to do it all now. It could be something you do mm, a year, a 10 years from now, whatever. But just the possibility to explore, if I were to let go my attachment to what the results have to be, that it has to be the perfect relationship, that they have to live, that your business has to look a certain way, because what I'm talking about applies to everything. I think most people actually do this with their businesses more than they're willing to do it with their relationships. Um, but what would happen if you were truly willing to have no point of view and let everything go? Doesn't mean it actually goes. It means all your attachments, all your energies, all your reference points, all the ways you've made it solid and significant. It has to look a certain way. And you allow those energies to actually be free flowing like they desire to be so that it can have opportunities, so it can have possibilities, so it can grow, it can expand. So, you know, it's gonna look different for each of us, and there will never be one magic pill for this either. And there'll be phases, like, you know, it might be, it's easier to do that with your business than it is with your kids. It might be easier to do with your husband or wife than it is with your kids. It's gonna look different for each of us. But I invite you guys, like, gratitude is one of the greatest gifts. If you don't go into judgment of them or you, but you ask from that space of gratitude, what else is truly possible? So in the next few days, three days, we are going to explore this topic. And it's going to look different for everyone. And I invite you guys, if that might be something that might contribute to your life, your relationships, your business, or whatever, come and play. Um, it's actually in different languages too. We have Russian, German, and French. So if that's something that might assist people, but it's not about the call. It's like, what could you be grateful for? And with your gratitude, let go of the attachments. What could that create for you? But what can it also invite in your life? Not just the people that you think you know, but what can it also invite when you let go to who else can also receive this energy and these possibilities? And how can they apply it to their life, their business, their relationships? Because that's the thing. And by me choosing, it's not just about me. Now those possibilities are available in the whole world. So then it becomes available for anyone else that desires to choose it. And you guys know that already. So hmm, it's time for me to get going to the airport. So I'm going to say goodbye here. And I'm so grateful for all of you guys. I'm so grateful for what each of you chooses every single day, even if it's not what you think you should be choosing. Like every choice you make creates possibilities. So thank you for that. And 
never let anything or anyone stop you. Like I was talking earlier in this conversation about this particular event in Tokyo, the change that occurred in everyone, not one person, but everyone was just so beautiful and so empowering. And what if we didn't let anything stop us, including us? What if nobody's opinion mattered and you were going to choose for you no matter what? So I send you guys big hugs and I hope I get to see some of you guys in person really soon. And what else is possible? Oh, hi, Rosemary. Cuckoo from Quebec. Bonjour. Um, so until next time, bye you guys, see you soon.